Hey guys, welcome back to the B&B Farms Maple YouTube channel. You know, we've built a, a couple of structures here recently where we used board and bat and siding. And we thought, why not make a, a quick or a short little video here uh, and explain how we install this siding and, and why we use this siding. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. First off, board and bat and siding was designed to be able to use green lumber right off the sawmill. And green lumber is wet. It, it's got a, a lot of moisture in it. And once you hang it or build with it, it's going to start drying out. And as it dries, that lumber's going to change shape. And it can change shape really drastically. If you've ever been to the lumber yard and sorting through a stack of two-by-fours and you get one that looks like a pretzel, well, that's what did that. that that's, that's moisture leaving that board. And board and batten siding uh, accommodates some of that. It won't take all of it out, but it accommodates some of it. And we're going to talk about the two, the two things that it will accommodate. We've got a couple boards set up here, and I've drawn the, the, the grain, the end grain and marker here to kind of illustrate how it goes, because this is critical to determining how you place the boards on your structure. You want to know where that, where that end grain is, what you're looking for. This is a, an old saying, um, bark side down, where's a crown, bark side up, where's a cup? And the cup, which is, I've illustrated right here, is what you don't want. And a cup is simply when, when the lowest point of the board is in the middle and the two outside edges are curling up. That makes a cup. The uh, crown is just opposite. It's the highest point of the board is in the middle. And the lowest point is on the two outside edges. Uh, and the cup is, is what you don't want. The crown is what, what we want on our buildings. So, uh, how we would do this is, is we, would, we would look at the board, we would determine where the bark was. You can see the, the, the growth ring right there, you know the bark was here. So we're going to put that down, down towards the supporting structure. Whether that be uh, like on a wall, you're going to put the bark toward the, the studs that you're nailing the wall to. If it was a, a floor like a deck, if you're just putting down deck boards, not really board and batten, but deck boards, uh, you're going to want the bark side down toward the, the floor joist or, or what you're nailing the floor to. So we nail our boards up and how we nail the boards is critical. We're gonna get a spacer. It can be about anything you want. So we keep everything nice and uniform, put the two boards up. And when we fasten these, whatever we use, or it be screws or nails, we're going to, let's actually, let's flip this one over the correct, correct way there. There we go. I won't worry about respacing it. We're going to put our fastener right in the center. Now, the temptation is to put your fastener out here on the edges. But if you do that, remember, this board is constantly shrinking until it, it finally reaches as, as dry as it's going to get. And it's getting narrower as it shrinks. So if you've nailed out here on the edge, as that board gets narrower as it dries, it's going to split right here. But if you put your fastener, your, your single fastener, right here in the middle, it won't. And that, that is key to properly hanging that we have found board and batten siding. So we're going to put our fastener right here in the center. We're going to go up in the center. We're going to make sure that when we build our structure that we have support behind that we're nailing to every so often. So we've got the boards nailed up. We're going to take our batten. And we're going to cover that right in the center like that. And when we fasten the batten, same thing. We're going to put one fastener right in the middle. And it's going to be in this gap. Let's open that up a little bit, make it a little easier to see. As we put that, that screw or that nail through here, it's going to go right in between our boards into the supporting structure behind it. And what's going to happen is as these boards shrink, that gap's going to get wider as the board gets narrower. But the batten is still going to cover it. And because it's nailed in the center, and because the boards are nailed in the center, this is free to move as, as the building undergoes, you know, changes as, as the lumber gets drier. It's really pretty ingenious, actually. Uh, to trim it out, what we do, if I can show that here, we can put a piece of trim down, bring our boards up against it, then we can put our batten on and just bring it over that piece of trim. Now, if you're building something, a building that's outside or open to the weather, you can just stop right here. It doesn't really matter if a, 
mud dauber crawls up in there and gets inside your building because it's open anyway. But if you're building something that you want enclosed from the weather and the, and the insects, you're going to want to trim that out. So put your trim down. You got a couple of choices here. You can run the batten down, like we said, that's fine. You can double stack your trim. And when you run the batten down, everything's nice and neat. That's kind of a personal choice. It's however you want to do it. The downside to that is if you're doing this, imagine this standing up on a wall and this is below the wall. As weather or snow comes, it's going to lay right in here. Whereas if you are able to do it this way, it won't. It'll shed it. It'll shed it right off. But again, that's up, that's up to you. Well, that's about it. That's how we put on board and batten siding. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you probably, if you've ever done this before, you probably already know this, but you know, maybe some of you don't and you can gain something from it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to grow the channel. Tell your friends about us. Tell people you've never met before about us. Tell the mailman about us. Just tell everybody about us. Uh, it really does help. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.